Pixel. What's up everybody? So today I'm going to be teaching everybody how to grip a board. I'm going to be teaching it my way. I know everybody has their own way to grip their board. You know, people slice up their grip and just put it in a certain way, but I just like it just generally straight out flat on here. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to just grip the way that I grip it here. And this is definitely going to be a new segment. I'm going to be doing a bunch of how-to videos here on my channel, just on a different playlist. So definitely advise to subscribe. Leave a comment down below in the videos to come. Just let me know what kind of how-tos you would like to see. As far as a trick or anything like that, I would definitely comment below just to go ahead and um, if I definitely know the trick here, then I'll try my best to explain it to everybody here. But today we're gonna be just doing the grip here. So this board is an Uprise deck at, from Uprise Skate Shop in Chicago, Illinois. Definitely recommend you know everybody go and check out the shop. Those guys are really uh, humble and really grateful to have everybody and all the support from everybody. So uh, really a bunch of great group of guys here. So. Um, my board itself is not in the best of shape you know this board i did win it at a game of skate contest in chicago and i ended up winning this board and just hanging it up on my wall and you know just time passed by so i just figured why not skate the board instead of having it as just a display i'll go ahead and just show everybody what you need to do to grip this board or any Board. All right, so to grip the board, you're gonna need a couple of things. Obviously, your board and uh, grip tape. Here, doesn't matter which kind, any kind works, but I prefer just a uh, diamond grizzly grip or any mob type grip, anything like that. It's all the same, except for these. Actually, they come with like uh, certain little holes right here. Let's see if I can focus in here. See these little holes right here? Those just are uh, to prevent any sort of air bubbles on your grip. You need a tool, or actually just the filer from the tool, the silver tool. One of the best purchases I've ever gotten here. It's a really good tool. I would definitely recommend it. It's uh, extremely fast when you wanna just switch out a deck, you know, and it has a file up here. Let me focus on this here. It has a file up here. I have used this multiple times, so it's uh, it's definitely worn down, but it's a great tool nonetheless. And last but not least, you would need a blade. Yep. If you don't have a blade, that's not a problem at all. You know, the only thing you would have to do is just file it down completely, just all the way down until you get to the board and that might be a hassle but it is doable if you don't have a blade so not to worry and so the way i'm gonna start it off here is just taking off the grip there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it here um the way that i usually do it is just take off the full grip and place it from end to end and then just start from the middle and go out which i'll go ahead and show you but there's a lot of people also that like to just peel off a certain side of the grip and then just go little by little all the way till you get to the other end. Uh, but I'll just, like I said, I'm doing it the way that I usually do it. I've seen multiple ways of gripping a board, but this is just the way that I prefer. And it's the more efficient way for me here to grip the board. So let me just go ahead and get this grip off here or get the back cover of the grip off here. All off. Boop. Done with that part. All right. So this is the back of your grip, front of your grip. Um, you want to try to measure it as much as possible just to see if uh, you have both sides even. So what I usually do is I put my fingers on the very middle of the grip on each side, and then I'll try to measure it with the middle of the board on each side. And then I just want to go ahead and just uh, gradually put it down. I want to double check the ends with like the my nail here. I'll go ahead and measure, make sure both sides are pretty much even. And then from there, you just want to press down from the middle. Take my ring off there. 
Yeah, press down on the middle right here the way that I do it. And then just start slowly going on each end. I go one by one so I don't go all out here. And go one by one right here, trying to make sure that there's no air bubbles. All right, so this side seems pretty good. And if you do see an air bubble here, just use your finger and just try to push it all the way out to the end of the board. So then that way there's no air bubbles at all. Now that you just want to double check, put it on the light just to make sure that there's no certain air bubbles on here. Everything looks pretty good. Just going one last time here. All right, so next thing you do is you take your tool. You're gonna take the tool, take the top of the filer if it has it on your tool. If not, then you just wanna get a file or something that can file any grip down. I mean, anything pretty much works, um, but just recommend anything that's metal. Uh, go ahead and just start going all the way down and you want to push down uh, pretty hard on here so then that way it leaves kind of like a, like a white streak on here. I don't know if that's kind of hard to tell. Go ahead and go on this side. So this little white streak right there, that's what you would want to see because then that way you know that you're getting down all the way to the board. Alright, so next thing is to uh, to basically use the blade. Yeah, the way that I do it, I know there's a couple people that just cut one end and then just start from there. I usually go from the very bottom of the board and then just cut towards me instead of away from me. What I would recommend is you cut towards you. Um, definitely still being mindful, be careful, this is really sharp. but. That's how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little s bottom part right here. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and show that here. So I cut from the bottom part right there. And that's what you wanna do. Just cut that and then just start cutting all the way across. And what I found to be really helpful is to basically, the part that you already cut off, grab it with your other hand and just hold it and just keep moving all the way through pretty much and towards the ends you want to just flip the board over get on the other end also hold it and then just keep cutting around it's a lot of turning of the board but uh it'll be worth it <laughs> That's the perfect, or one of the perfect cuts here where you don't have anything but the remaining grip here. Do you actually still have use for this, for this grip here? here? You just wanna grab it and just move it down here. And then just file the rest down. So that's pretty much, this is done with. Um, just wanna toss that to the side, wipe anything off. Yep, and there you have it. All right, this is the finished product. This is definitely how you would want your board to look like. <laughs> definitely no air bubbles from what I can see, which is a good thing. I'm trying to double check, make sure. The last thing I'm actually gonna be doing here is just putting on some stickers. All right, this one right here, I'm gonna do it right in this little corner here is right next to the truck or where the truck's gonna be and right where the wheel's gonna be the second sticker the we are blood one that's probably gonna go somewhere else too I'll probably be on the tail and uh, I like it hanging off the side I like the flaming R be pretty much like right near the edge. That's how it looks. A bright sticker. 
And the last one that I'm just putting on here is this uh, We Are Blood sticker. I'm gonna just put it like right where the back of the truck's gonna be hit, which is gonna be horrible because I love tail slides and this is definitely gonna hate tail slides. We're all done. Make sure it has a hold of that board. But boom! There you go. All done. Uprise deck set up, ready to skate. Just need to punch in the holes, put on my trucks, and we're all good. Like I said, everybody, subscribe down if you haven't already. Um, if you want to see any more tutorials or any how to's, definitely comment below and let me know what type of tricks you would want to learn, what type of things you need to know about skateboarding, and we'll go ahead and move on forward. So, yep, go out and skate. Woo!